welcome back in today's lecture let us discuss what time division switching is about so we know already what space switching is about now let us deal with how time division switching works before we discuss what time division switching is let us have clear idea about what switching is switching we know it is a method of establishing connection between two different endpoints within a particular switching network once we know a connection has been established information can be sent over the switching network and we know telephone switching usually deals with the switching of voice calls where telecommunication is involved so when a subscriber wants to communicate with this another subscriber so we need to establish a connection between two with the help of a switching system so switching system comes into effect when one subscriber on one end wants to communicate with the another subscriber on the another end so that is made possible with the help of a particular switching system so we need to deal with what are the functions that are performed by a switching systems in establishing as well as in releasing the connections and those things are discussed under switching system control functions we will discuss these things in our coming lectures control functions basically deals with how a telecommunication switching system establishes a telephone call as well as how it releases the connection all those things will be discussed under the heading control switching functions basically the switching systems are classified into two types one is space division switching and the other one is time division switching and of course in this lecture we discuss more time division switching in detail so the difference between two switching systems that is space division switching systems and time division switching systems is in space division switching system we need to maintain a continuous path so in space division switching system a dedicated path need to be established between the calling and the call subscriber for the entire duration of the call for the entire duration of the call we need to keep a fixed dedicated path between those two persons for the entire duration of the call whereas that is not the case in case of time division switching whereas in case of time division switching a sampled values of speech signals are transferred at fixed intervals at different instants on time so what we do is we don't want to keep continuous connection between two end users instead we sample the speech signals and those samples are transferred from one end to the another end only at particular fixed intervals only at different instants of time we send datas so and this digital that is time division switching system can be of analog or it can be of digital in nature if it is analog we call it as time division analog switching if it is digital we call it as time division digital switching in case of analog switching the sampled voltage values are transmitted as and when they are generated that means the discrete values are transmitted over the digital that is time division switching network as and when it is generated in case of time division analog switching whereas in case of time division digital switching in case of digital switching those sampled values those sample values of speech or audio signal are binary coded or those are converted into binary signal or binary data and then transmitted over the network if the coded values are transferred during the same time interval from input to output the technique is called as space switch so 
please note that in time division switching we are converting digital that is analog data into binary data that is binary code and then transmitted so if the coded values are transferred during the same time interval the binary coded values are transferred during the same time interval from input to output the technique is called space switch whereas if the coded values are stored and then transferred at later time to the output at a later time interval the technique is called time switch as and when this binary data are generated if we send directly to output side we call such switching component or switching element as space switch if the binary codes or binary data are stored in some memory and then transferred to the output end we call such system as time switch so basically in this time division switching systems we discuss two types of switching that is space switch and time switch and of course this time division switching systems can be designed by using a combination of space switch and time switch we call such combination as or such technique as combinational switching of course switching system is classified into two types manual and automatic in with respect to automatic we are having two types electromechanical and electronic and generally electromechanicals are of two types stroger and crossbar switching systems coming to electronic switching system that is generally called as stored program control it is classified into two types or we have defined previously space division switching where continuous dedicated path need to be established and the other one is time division switching where the data is transmitted only at particular intervals of course this time division switching is again classified into digital this time division digital switch and time division analog switch with respect to time division digital switch it is again classified into three different types one is space switch time switch and combinational switch combinational switch includes both space switch and time switch so that is what the classification of switching system is about so in a single stage space division network a cross point switching element is used to establish a specific connection between two subscribers as you can see here so in a this is a single stage space switching system so to establish connection between 1 and 4 dash we can snatch this cross point so these are the different cross points that can be used whereas in case of multi stage space division networks a conversation could be established via any one of the many alternative paths if i am dealing with multi stage let us consider a three stage in this three stage space division network in this three stage space division network in order to send data from 1 to e dash what i can do is either i can snatch this cross point and then this cross point and then this cross point to deliver information or this can be sent over this or this and then again this so we will be having a certain large options for different alternative paths for data transmission so these cross points can be shared among many subscribers and a switching element once allocated remains dedicated to a connection for its entire duration we know that as a result sharing of cross point occurs for one connection to the next point so at a time a cross point is dedicated to one active speech circuit hence a dedicated cross point is required to pass a continuous analog speech waveform through the switch in space division switching so we need to stub in order to have a continuous analog speech waveform being transmitted over the space division switching network 
we need to keep this cross point to be dedicated for long duration whereas in digital transmission sampled values of speech are sent as pulse amplitude modulated values or pcm binary words pulse code modulated binary words of course generally pcm binary words are used in digital transmission sample values of speech are converted into binary data and we know our analog signal or analog speech signal can have a maximum of 4 kilohertz or actually it is 3.6 kilohertz by including some other signals it can go maximum of 4 kilohertz and according to sampling theorem this the signal when we are sampling it should be sampled at a minimum sampling rate of twice that of this maximum frequency content of my speech signal that is 8 kilohertz sampling rate is selected if it is sampled at 8 kilohertz then each samples are separated by a time duration of 125 microsecond that is 1 by 8 kilohertz is 125 microsecond so it is clear that from one sample to another speech sample we are having a time duration of 125 microsecond in our digital transmission that is but in digital domain a sample value can be passed from one inlet that is from input side to output side in a very few microsecond we don't want to have or we don't want to utilize 125 microsecond to transfer one sample data from one side to another side that is from input to output instead we need only very few microsecond out of 125 microsecond let us say we need only 5 microsecond if we need one 5 microsecond remaining 120 microsecond the system need to sit idle so what we can do is within this 120 microsecond we can make another channel to be used by this switching system so in that way we can make use of so many number of channels to be used for data transmission over the single switching system so if let us say total 32 different channels are transmitting data within this 125 microsecond that means the switching element is being shared by all incoming channels to deliver data to outgoing channels so that is how time division switching works so a single switching element can be used to transmit speech samples from a number of inlets to the corresponding outlets in other words we can say switching element can be shared by a number of simultaneous active speech circuits so that is what the basic principle of time division switching is obviously with the way the switching elements are being shared in our time division switching networks a great number of savings can be achieved because the switching elements required is less in number because within this 125 microsecond so many number of channels are being served by this single switching element so we can have greater level of savings when compared to space division switching where in case of space division switching we need to maintain the switching component to be established over the entire time duration so let us consider how the space switching and time switching take place in our time division switching systems so with respect to space switch we call it as time division space switch similarly we can call it as time division time switch so both are different space switch is different from time switch of course we will discuss these things in our coming lectures so both tandem exchange and local exchange must be able to connect a channel on one of its incoming pcm highways to any one of the outgoing pcm highways so if i am having an exchange it will be having so many number of incoming channels and outgoing pcm ch channels but right now what we are saying is this exchange is having highways 
so each pcm highway is made up of n number of channels each pcm highway is made up of n number of channels similarly a particular exchange is having so many number of incoming highways and so many number of outgoing highways so we know the incoming and outgoing highways are spatially separate so the connection obviously requires space switch so first let us deal with how space switch operates and then we go for time switch operation but sometimes a connection is required to have different time slots on the incoming and outgoing highways so thus the switching network must be able to receive pcm samples from one time slot and those samples must be retransmitted in a different time slot so that is what the importance of so that is done by time switch and we call the operation as time slot interchange time slot interchange from incoming pcm highway to outgoing pcm highway must be performed and that is done with the help of time switch so there is clear difference between time switch and space switch space switch directly delivers the incoming data to outgoing but here incoming data is delivered to outgoing but with certain interchange in its time slots so let us consider a simple time division switching network which makes connection between channels on pcm highway carrying a primary multiplex group we are saying it as a multiplex group because each pcm highway that is coming into this switching network is made up of so many number of channels so this they operate generally at 1.5 megabits per second or 2 megabits per second generally 2 megabits per second is used and if i say a pcm highway is made up of so many number of channels and this particular pcm highway is operating at 2 megabits per second then a 2 megabit per second line system that is pcm highway will be having 32 time slots it implies a pcm highway is having is made up of 32 different channels so each channel corresponds to a particular time slot so we will be having 32 time slots inside this particular pcm highway that is having 2 megabits per second data rate however within this 32 time slots we generally use 30 time slots for transmitting speech channels or for transmitting speech signals whereas time slot 0 is used for frame alignment and time slot 16 is used for signaling so frame alignment is required so we will reserve one time slot for frame alignment and we will reserve time slot 16 for signaling signaling is required in handling the call to make the call and to end the call of course time slot 0 and time slot 16 is utilized by tandem exchange whereas those are not utilized by local exchange local exchange can make use of all 32 time slots for transmitting 32 different channels data channels thank you